Hello everyone. I would like to introduce you to a brand new online course complete water tank automation using Raspberry Pi. I have always been a firm believer in learning by doing and in this course you will learn what you need to know by hands-on experience. You don't need any special knowledge except basic computer skills to get started with the course. Every one of you comes from a different background and hence the course is crafted from basic to advanced level with minute detail in every lecture. The course is divided into 8 sections. In the first section, we will get to know about the project concept and how we are going to solve a real-time problem by developing this project. Thereafter, we will understand the stepwise approach to be followed so that the learning curve remains easier and the project development gets completed without any major technical issues. In the second section, we will understand the complete hardware modules which are required to build the project and the individual uses of each hardware component. Thereafter, we will learn about Raspberry Pi and its complete specifications in detail. In the third section, we will begin setting up the Raspberry Pi. We will learn to download the latest operating system and burn it into the micro SD card. And then we will proceed with the installation of the IP scanner tool using which we will fetch the dynamic IP address of the Raspberry Pi and then establish the connection via the OT terminal. In the fourth section, we will learn how to assign a static IP address to the Raspberry Pi. As you are already aware that the dynamic address is temporarily assigned by your internet service provider. If a dynamic address is not in use, it can be automatically assigned to a different device. So every time you scan your Wi-Fi network, you may get a different IP address for your Raspberry Pi. The static IP address will help in fixing this issue. Once we complete this, we will go ahead with updating our software library before proceeding with the project development. The fifth section begins with the testing of the hardware modules. Testing each module separately will give you clarity about each hardware component's functionality and the working principle. Here, we will first start with the motor pump and then the relay. We will understand the functioning of the relay and then go through the circuit diagram. And then with the help of the basic project, we can test whether the relay is functioning or not. In the sixth section, we will get to know the working principle of the distance measurement module. With the help of the circuit diagram, we will establish the connection between the Pi and the distance sensor. And then we will write a program using which we can measure the distance between the object and the sensor module. We will also cross check whether the value returned by the sensor is correct or not. In the seventh section, we will get to know about the liquid crystal display. Thereafter, we will understand a circuit diagram using which we can connect the LCD module with the Raspberry Pi. Once done, we will learn about the I2C protocol and how the I2C devices are detected via the Python libraries and commands. We will then proceed with the code using which we will display a couple of sentences on the LCD screen just to make sure that the device is functioning properly. Finally, in the 8th section, we will build the final project, the automation of the water tank. 
we will follow a standard circuit diagram which will help us to connect all the modules. And then we will understand the code using which the project will be executed. You will also see a real time demonstration of the project. Please note that the project covered in the course should work on any version of the Raspberry Pi. All the lectures contain English subtitles for clear and better understanding. If you face any technical issues, please post your query in the question and answer section and our technical support executive will get back to you within one business day. At the end of the course, you will have a solid foundation on Raspberry Pi, distance sensor module, LCD module, etc. So apart from building this project, you will also find it easy to build any other project of your choice. Thank you.